made by far this season. About 10 minutes in the second half, we were on the front foot, showed a bit of urgency, tempo, and we had created a great opportunity to get ourselves back in the game. We didn't take it. After that, it became very open. Um, we're throwing bodies forward, trying to chase a goal down to give us a chance, a foothold in the game. Obviously, we're leaving ourselves open at the back, so they, they get a good answer, a chance on back into that. What do you think it was in the first half? Because it was, it was quite flat, whereas the second half came out and fighting a little bit. Look, I end up, I've got my reasons, and uh, we've gone into too much. I'm not giving anybody an excuse. It's, there's one or two who've not been at training for a fair bit, um, for reasons they have our control. But I can't give him written it. It's not a get a gel card on the back end of that. It's not good enough. We spoke about the fact that Stockport played 24 hours ago. They, made, they had made a couple of changes to freshen it up, but they couldn't make 10 outfield changes. We look like a team that played 24 hours ago. And they uh, said, we've, it's not been ideal the situation we've been in, but we have to deal with that better. Um, as I said, get out there, we spoke about bright start, being on the front foot, trying to put our game onto them. We just didn't adapt to where they, where they set up first off. And besides, I saw you speaking before the game about you had the nine day period of sort of training, being able to sort of get into your team and get things going with, with the training. Did it seem like there was maybe that they were almost too relaxed coming out there, sort of after the, the long break, maybe? No, look, we had a. I spoke about it after the Hartlepool game, we had a two week break because of COVID, because that was our, from in, inside our camp. We were rusty. Um, I spoke with the players in the build up of this. Um, we've had a nine day break. Look, not everybody's been there. But it's not good enough for us to go out there and, and not be at it, how we spoke about. And words get said uh, in the changing room. We're saying the right things in there, in the group. You need to go out there and put that onto the pitch. As a manager, there's so much going on uh, around you in terms of the ownership, in terms of coronavirus, all sorts of things. How is it for you to try and sort of cope with all that pressure around? We have to deal with it. We have to deal with that. It, look, what happened, the ownership, the changeover, etc. From day one, we've said we, we can't control that, but what we can control out there, look. One or two, look, believe me, the number's a lot higher than one or two, um, what, what we missed. Um, so look, you trust them, why they're not here. We give them a plan in place, why they're away from here. And we can only do so much with the group, small group that we got, we had the numbers wasn't there. So look, look there's no excuses. That's out there, personal pride. Um, you need to go out there, you need to perform. What is the mood like with the, with the players? At the no, it's sombre in there. It's very sombre, and it, and so, so it should be. That's nowhere near good enough in this football club. The aspirations that we spoke about internally as a group at the beginning of the season, our object, objectives that we set out, and what we're looking at achieving this season, that was a million of miles away from what we spoke about. I just wanted to ask you a quick question on the, the ownership as well. There was the update just before Christmas uh, with the, the club statement. Uh, what's what's the, the latest on it? Do you keep up to date? With Look, I, I know as much as that's getting put out there. Yeah, as I said, it's from day one. It was never in our control. All we can affect is what happens on the pitch. And today, that wasn't good enough. When it happens, it happens. Um, Lucky, as I said, short term, long term, meet mid term for the football club, the community, the town going forward, forward is amazing. What we put out there today wasn't nowhere near enough. Despite the first half performance, there were turning points that could have gone our way and changed at the penalty showers, a couple of chances yeah. early second half. Yeah, look, that was our one bit of decent phase of play. Mm. Um, is it penalty? Yeah, I believe it. I believe so. I watched it back, it's a penalty. Say week in, week out to the players in, inside the changing room. We can't rely on the officials. Mm. You can't rely on them. You get some, you don't get some. Okay, today that wasn't our decision. We didn't get the decision, the right decision. I feel that should have gone our way. And it gives us a bit of a chance. The momentum going into half time after what was a disastrous start. Asked question of the urgency, the tempo, etc. For from the first half to go into the second, I thought first ten minutes we came out and we showed something about us, and we've created a great opportunity. And look, it, we've not the target. It's not, it's not good enough. I thought the second half was better though in terms of we were closing them down quicker. We were much more threatening than we were in the first as yeah. well. The changes livened things up too. Yeah, look, there's players that want the opportunity, um, freshen it up. As I said, ideally, what's happened to us over the last ten, twelve days has not been great. Uh, said we've not had a full group up until the last uh, the last 24 hours. It is what it is. On that, we have to deal with it because that can happen again. I've just said that, I've just said that to the players now. There's no excuses for this. Um, we can't hide behind something. We have to be. We have to accept that that performance today is nowhere near good enough for this football club. And that's all of us.